Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm sorry for my voice. I'm still getting over the shit. But how you guys doing, man? Hopefully, you guys are having a good night, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you guys are watching this video, man. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day. So today, I'm going to be going over my Tarkov settings. A lot of people uh, have been asking about them. I do not think they help uh, in any specific way. Uh, I don't think I get any performance boost or, or anything like that. So this is not a video as to how to get more frames. I'll just cut that out right now. So, if you want more frames, this probably ain't the video for you. If you want to know what my settings are, this is a perfect video for you. We're going to go in depth through my Tarkov settings. I'm actually going to go through some NVIDIA settings as well. And I will also go through my keybinds. I'll show you guys all my keybinds and stuff like that. And hopefully you guys like the video. If you do, make sure to leave a like and a comment. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys aren't already sub, make sure you guys go ahead and sub, man. It is free. Might as well. But without further ado, man, let's hop into the video. Yeah. So for starters, we're going to look at the game right here. I have seen people have automatic ramp cleaner on or fit, use only physical cores on as well. I have these both unchecked. Play on 75 field of view. Uh, head bobbing is turned down at the absolute most. My graphic settings, I play on 25.6 by 14.40. Default aspect ratio. I do not play on any stretch thing like that. I also play on borderless simply because I can tab out like this right here. The game doesn't go anywhere. That's why I play on borderless. I like it. I'll probably get more frames if I play on full screen i don't mind it's fine i get like 90 frames on customs and that's fine for me also with these settings i understand they're kind of high to some people i will put my specs in the video they'll be here yeah you'll see them right here specs that i have to run these sort of settings so you guys get a good understanding as to why i run what i run texture quality is high shadow quality is low led quality is down overall visibility is also down to a thousand uh, anti-aliasing is ta high resampling one x off uh, dlss is off uh, i'm not entirely too sure what this is i just have it off i'm pretty sure it's a new thing hbao is what colored ultra ssr is off anastrophic uh, i probably messed that up it's fine you know i failed english it's okay that is on the video reflex low latency is on and boost sharpness is at 0.7 i also don't have any of these checked simply because i don't think they look good in game so we got these are my post effects this is the main post effects i run on any map honestly i don't ever turn them off unless i go to night raids and even then after this last uh wipe on night raids it's kind of doable to leave your post effects on with nvgs so this is the post effects that i run i've been playing for about three years so i haven't changed it in about three years it's been the same ever since man for my sound i just keep my overall volume at 100 my interface volume at 20 chat 100 music and hideout all the way down i also use binary audio there has been a lot controversial saying that they're going to be taking binary audio out so if you're wondering if you should switch or try binary it might be better off just to stick to use what you got you know it might just be better uh now for my keybinds i've told a, a couple of you guys that um i i basically use uh, a default keybind and that's because this is my first pc game first ever i didn't really know how to move around a keyboard you know i don't really know what's best for me i just i'm not entirely too sure as to what is best uh now like you know three years later i've kind of gotten the hang of it i have almost nine thousand hours in this game so i kind of know what i want and what i don't want but yeah so i will just go through and and kind to point out what i know is changed now you guys will have them to look at uh, in case i do miss any but i will try to point out what i know for a fact i have changed like my switch between sites that's on my mouse button i have a logitech g pro wireless so i have two uh, mouse buttons on it that's my change between sites and that's whenever you have like a voodoo with the top site or a bravo or a hammer or something of that matter you just switch between the top and the lower site that's what the switch between sites is and uh, mine is on my mouse button change scope magnification is left control and also the same button between switch sites so i just hold left control and i hit the same button as i would to, to change sites uh, so that'll be like to zoom in from the 1x to the 6x on a voodoo i'm not sure i don't know if this is default but mvgs and face shields is in enable and disable voip is b again i don't know if that is default so i'm just gonna you know, let you guys know <laughs> push attack is b and that is for voip uh, i'd use that simply because it's just right next 
next to my thumb i play with my keyboard a little angled so uh, it's just super easy to hit while i'm playing in game or uh, running around trying to fight somebody switch tactical devices control t i i believe that is default i could be wrong i could be wrong on a couple of these so i apologize i'm just gonna go through mine uh set fire mode to full auto this is a new feature it got added uh either this way or last way i'm not even too sure i don't even have it set uh simply because you got your change fire mode your check fire mode so yeah i don't even use it you guys definitely do not need it in my opinion but my switch fire mode is m again i can hit it with my thumb my original thoughts behind it was to have it so far away on my keyboard that i won't spam it but i have quickly grown accustomed to being able to put my thumb on m out of habit and still spamming it uh, it's a huge problem i'm aware that's why it is on m i just wanted to stop hitting it but it didn't really help check fire mode is left all and my other mouse button uh, that's just because it's easy to hit and i don't need to hit any extra keys on my keyboard fixing malfunctions a lot of people they'll, they'll give you a, a ton of different ways as to fix a malfunction i don't mind inspecting it i don't mind clicking l to inspect the weapon and then clicking shift t to fix a malfunction i don't mind it a lot of people might mind it that's okay but yeah that's pretty much it i think that's it i think that's it for all of my keybinds i think i pretty much covered all of them like i said they're pretty much all default nothing really crazy different we go over my mouse sensitivity it is at 0.31 and my ads sensitivity is at 0.18 double click timeout i'm not too sure what this even means it's just always been here for me so i've never changed it yeah this is my sensitivity right here but next up let's hop into the video control panel so i can show you guys the one little thing i do in there that kind of helps me see a little bit so this is the only setting that i have changed in my new video control panel for uh really anything whatsoever i have it on this uh and my top monitor i have two monitors on my game pc i have one that i play on then one that i look on uh i have it set to this well this one's at 120 this one's at 120 i'm talking about the gamma now the gamma it brightens up some dark spaces in tarkov it kind of allows you to see in some of the darker areas without using something like a flashlight now it does have one con uh you fight somebody with a flashlight it's going to be extra bright i mean it's already freaking bright right like we all know how bright it is to to fight some guy with a flashlight and how bad of a disadvantage it puts you at not having one now this this will hurt you a little bit but if you can deal with it and you you want the game to look a little more crispy i would highly suggest just turning the gamma up to 0.28 like just turning up from 1 to 0.28 it makes a world of a difference and let's just say you don't like it you can always is just fix it it's fine it takes two seconds to do it's not really that big of a deal that is pretty much it though with my settings man uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the video man and again if you guys did make sure to like and a comment it would be greatly appreciated man if you guys aren't already sub make sure you guys go ahead and sub it is free might as well man i will see you guys on the next one peace